Let's jump into it. Flaticon gives you access through a Google Workspace add-on to search their 8 million plus icons. Uh, these are emojis here that you can do. So let's jump in and show you how to do this. First of all, what you'll need to do is you'll need to install the Flaticon Workspace plugin. So workspace.google.com, it'll take you to the Google Workspace Marketplace store. You'll type in Flaticon. It's actually created by somebody else, but you're looking for this one right here from FreePick. They have multiple um, apps or add-ons that they've, they've put in here. So I already have this installed, and so as I scroll over, you'll see what this looks like when we, when we, when we scroll over. But just to show you what this looks like, it actually works with Docs, Sheets, slides and forms. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to pull any kind of icon from their data bank and plug it into any one of these four applications in the Google Workspace. And it's amazing. You can use these for websites. You can use these for buttons. You can use these for social media. You can use these for email signatures. So let me show you how to do that. Sitting there, I'm just sitting here in a presentation ready to add uh, some of these icons that we search for. So underneath add-ons, when we go down to icons for slides and docs, we click on start. And this is going to refresh over on the right-hand side. And you'll see that I have some options. These icons are organized by most popular. So if I want to search for something here, let's just say I type in Lego and hit enter, it's going to pull up all of the Lego icons that they have in their database. And there's two pages full. So if I go to the next page down here, it'll take me to this new page. So you'll see I have some black and white ones. I have some colored ones. And I actually have these options here. When I click on the home button, that's actually going to take me to Flaticon. It's going to try and upsell me to membership with their site. And you have access to download those to your computer. The app plugin allows you to to download them to Google Workspace, but not to your computer. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can you know can go there and download that whole thing. You'll have this filter icon here, and this is gonna allow you to filter by specific color, gradient, and so what you'll start to do is you'll start to narrow down actually packs of icons that look similar. So if you're, let's say, doing an email a signature at the bottom and you want to add your Twitter icon, your Facebook icon, your Instagram icon, your WhatsApp or Snapchat or whatever, you could make those all you know, very, very similar. And you can also change the color. So as I click on outline, you'll see that it'll start to give me different filters and shapes of what these look like. So let's say I want to go with a gradient and I want all shape. I'm going to pull up these five or six, right? If I wanted to add Add hand drawn, I can do that. So I'm going to click on this one here. And before I actually insert it into my Google slide presentation, I can search icons that have the similar style. The beautiful thing is though, is I can actually resize this to fit any size that I want. Now I have a gradient color here. If I wanted to, I could change the color of this. So let me go back. I go to black and let's just click on this Lego right here. You can see right down here is I actually have the ability to change to whatever color I need it to be. And I can do a color pick or I can do the hex code if I want to match that there. So once I click insert, that'll actually pull over into my Google slide and then I can drag it and drop whatever I want. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to add icons and different you know, flat images to your slides to just make them a little bit more engaging or be a little bit more thematic. The same thing works on Google Docs. So when I jump over to Google Docs, so if I go to extensions, icons, and I'm gonna click on start just to refresh this. Maybe I wanna create my email signature in here. And so uh, I wanna narrow this down to uh, social media icons that look the same. So when I type this in and I click social media, it'll pull up all of these things. So I'm going to use something similar to this. I can't drag and drop this, right? You'll see. So I'm going to filter down. I want to have it be black. I want to have it outlined and maybe I really want it to be hand drawn. I'm into that, you know, hand drawn kind of stuff. Well, I only have three options. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to outline and see if I can find something that looks a little bit. I've got this kind of square rounded corners. I've got this Twitter. So I've got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and then LinkedIn right here. So I can actually grab those when I click on LinkedIn if I wanted to thematically right to my theme right or to my brand I wanted to brand those and turn this you know red that's one of my colors for my brand is red is I can insert then right here into the page. Then we'll insert this into this Google Doc and it'll go right over here. And you'll notice it's an image right and so I have this image I can crop the text I can edit it I can move it around here and make it a little bit bigger. As I'm pixelating out, remember, we only wanted it to be 128 pixels. So as I grab it and make it bigger, it's going to you know, pixelize around the corners and different things like that. If I wanted to add another one, I would just go through that process again. You can actually get full access. And again, this is not promotion or anything like that, is where they have more options here 
on their site. And the beautiful thing about getting things from the Flaticon site is you have free downloads. You can download free packs is you can search for items in packs. So I'm gonna go back and search social media. I believe yeah, you have up to 50 downloads a day. One more time. So when I click on social media here, this will organize this by packs. So you'll see here that all of these icons are very, very similar or part of the same icon family. So this is 16 icons. So when I click here, this would not go past my daily limit download. And I could actually just download these right now. If I wanted to go premium, I could go premium. If I wanted the free version, I could grab those for free. Anyway, if you need help making your email signature using some of these icons, go ahead and click this video up here and I'll walk you through how to do a more advanced version of a Gmail. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.